Good morning, everyone. I wanted to show you something that we use over here every single weekday. Um, I can't even really think of a weekday that we haven't used it. This is our microwave egg cooker. Um, if you've ever thought about cooking eggs in the microwave and you're like, that sounds disgusting, I'm not gonna do that. I'm here to change your mind because it's quick and easy and healthy and delicious. Um, I usually do it well after, right after I get my kids fed because if you're a parent then you know that you gotta get them fed so that they can be quiet so you can continue on with your day. So this is how I do it. Um, our stoneware is pretty fabulous. It wicks away moisture so that your food is gonna get nice and crispy um, and not retain that, that moisture and that's what makes it eggs rubbery in the microwave. Um, so you can put whatever you want in this. Um, I just do, I'm putting some cheese and some ham. Um, I like mushrooms. You can fill it up. You'll have to kind of, based on how much you put in here, you'll have to check out your uh, microwave times. But this is what I do every morning. We prep our food on Sundays. We cut up, we cut up our mushrooms. We cut up the onion. Um, I had some asparagus on hand, so I'm putting asparagus in here. You can do whatever you want. You could put bacon or sausage. You could do nothing at all. So you do all of that. And then you put your eggs in. You can put up to two eggs in each well. So if you're really hungry one morning, just give yourself an extra egg. And I usually pierce the egg. This is great for dorm rooms um, or if you're traveling and you wanna try to continue, continue to eat healthy. Um, Take it with you if your hotel room has a microwave. My husband is going away for work for a while and um, I just bought him another one of these so he can have some breakfast because the hotel that he's staying at isn't gonna have any breakfast. This is our silicone stretch fit lid. Um, and I, it works really great. I do suggest that you cover it so if you wanna use a paper towel, um, you could, or you could use this. This can go in the oven so if you have another pan that you could use it for, it's great for that. So I'm gonna pop it in here for two minutes and that is typically done. So while that's cooking, I wanna show you a few things. Let me flip this around. Oh, it's not gonna be flip it around. All right, I'll just show you this way. Um, this is our personal sized round stone and it basically lives by our toaster oven. Toaster oven, you can see how it's getting darker. That's what a stone we say the darker it, the darker it looks, the better it cooks. Um, like I said, I keep it right here, so I reheat stuff and I cook uh, chicken nuggets on it and all sorts of things. This is my other favorite thing: toaster tongs. And these are only two dollars and fifty cents. So if you're ever looking for something super cheap to add to a party, um, or if you just need something to help, oops, sorry for that lighting. If you ever need something, toaster tongs are the way to go. There we go. Toaster tongs. This is my other favorite thing. Also lives over here. It is our small grill stone. Small square grill rock crock grill stone. There's a lot of names for that. Um, long story short though, it's just fabulous. Again, for reheating, I, um, I'll put broccoli on here a lot or potatoes and just toss it in the toaster oven and it's good to go. All right, let's see how much longer we have on this. 30 seconds left. All right, 30 seconds, I can show you something else. This is our scoop and spread. It also lives up on my counter because I use it all the time. You scoop peanut butter from the jar, like if you have a big jar of peanut butter, if you get it from Costco, you know that those are, <laughs> it literally just fell out. You know that they're gigantic, right? Just look at how big this is. Sorry for my lighting. See? So you can scoop it all the way at the bottom, pull it out, put your peanut butter, spread it on there. Good to go. All right, let me put this back up here so I can use both hands. Give me two seconds. Let's see if it's cooked. It needs another 30 seconds. So typically my husband will make his breakfast before mine so the microwave is already warmed up a little bit and the stone is already warm. So I usually cook mine for two minutes but this one's gonna need an extra 30 seconds. 
so my husband will take his to work. He'll put it in a Tupperware, um, put his egg in there, put some salsa or some chili, whatever he wants with it that day, and then he eats it at work. I just put mine in a in a bowl and I eat it here while my kids are finishing up their breakfast. So it works out really, really well. Okay, this is gonna be good. Um, forgot to mention the microwave egg cooker is $20. So look at this. If you were worried about um, like the veggies not getting cooked, the mushrooms get nice and cooked, just like if you were making it on the stovetop. Um, even the asparagus it gets nice and tender. This little awesome spatula that I'm using, it's called our mini nylon spatula. And it's excellent for things like this microwave egg cooker or if you have our brownie pan. Um, whatever you want to use. So there is my easy breakfast and it took, if I wasn't talking, it took less than five minutes to make. And the cleanup is minimal because I just have to rinse this out with some water and um, some hot water and I'm good to go for tomorrow morning. All right. I hope you enjoyed this video.